Hi, um, my name is Simon Cowley, I'm Professor of Emergency Medicine in Manchester and I have with me today... I'm Jack, I'm one of the staff nurses. And? I'm Una, one of the sisters. And what are we doing today? Um, we're going to remove a ring. Why? Without cutting it off. Absolutely. <laughs> um, Jack. Right. Why are we doing this? Um, it's because patients come in with finger injuries and we cut the rings off all the time and it's a disaster, they don't like it. And it's not fair, because, um, you know, Jack, you told me you took a ring off a woman who'd had it on for 55 years the other day. Yep, and she thought I'd cut her right arm off. Uh, she had a nasty humeral head fracture and it, lower limb swelling as a result of it. And or upper limb swelling. Even. Well, upper limb swelling on the uh, ring finger and it had to come off. Yeah, so you see this patient, they've got a broken arm, but they're more worried about the ring. True. So it's crazy. True. Anyway, I have never cut a ring off, ever. And I'm going to tell you the trick about how I've managed to do that. Okay, so what we need is we need a patient who's got a ring, that's me, and an in injury to the finger. Um, can you just stamp on that for us, Jack? Certainly. Oh, jeez, Christ. Um, that hurts quite a lot, um, and it's quite swollen, and now I've got to get it off. It no longer comes, okay? So we need a couple of other things. We need Una, who's an expert in ring removal, and we need an oxygen mask. Why? Well, we don't need a mask, we need the string from the, the mask. And it's stretching. So yeah, so, that's, so that, that's, that's, that's key because we're, we're going to need that to compress down the tissues. And we've got a suture set. You're not going to stitch me? No, we're going to use the forceps to um, pop this through the ring. Okay. So here's the ring. And what we're going to do is, you can imagine this area here is all swollen up. And the ring won't come off because it's because it's swollen. You've got to, got to get rid of the swelling. So we're going to use this elastic um, band basically here to squash the tissues down starting above the knuckle. So go for it. And um, this can be quite tight, really. Um, I don't mind. It's going to be a little bit uncomfortable, uh, but most patients uh, tolerate this reasonably well. If the tissues are swollen, leave it a bit of time for the compression to happen. And that's why using the, the stretchy um, material is good, because that will continue to press down over time. If you just use something like ribbon gauze, um, you only get the tension on that you put on at the time, whereas this will continue to just squeeze down and get that extra little bit of tissue out. And so you can see what that's doing, it's wrapping around and it's making the tissue smaller and smaller and smaller. And so you, you do that until you get quite close and to the ring. And then what we have to do now, this is a bit tricky, there you go. Now, if I hold that for you there, you either poke it through. That's right, feed this through. Yeah. Just underneath and catch it. Okay, now there's the magic, 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 magic about to happen. Okay, what you do now is, this is clever, because what happens is it rotates and it jiggles the ring. Can you see that moving around in a sort of a spiral? So it's not only just, it's not just um, taking the soft tissue down, but it's also spiralling around the finger, and that's the best way to get it to move across. Never cut a ring off. Just not needed to be done. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Ina. Thank you, you're welcome. Thanks, Jake. Thank you.